hello my seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel it is always a blessing to have you back here today's reading is for aries aries welcome back to the channel today is your day to shine so go ahead and shine like that beautiful bright diamond that you are okay also please know that if the reading does not resonate don't get in your feelings or don't get hurt about it it only means that this one this reading is not for you it may be for someone else so you can come back later on or tomorrow and that one might be just for you. Now, if it is your first time here and you have not subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notification so you will always know when I upload brand new contents. Also, please give the video a thumbs up because when you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you love the videos and they will push the videos out into a much wider audience and the video and the channel will grow, all right? Now, for all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for all your love and support. Me still love, me love it, and me love it to the max. Now, please know that the cards has been blessed. And the cards also has been shuffled. However, before getting into all my readings, I always have to pray first, asking the Lord to send down his most powerful angels to take charge, give me the right words to speak, and the messages to share with my seekers for the ones who need to know. So let's get started. Heavenly Father, as we go along our day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send down your most powerful angels to take charge, using my body as a vessel, giving the right words and the messages that you want my seekers to know. Only the one that needs to know. Heavenly Father, we give you all the honor and all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, um, Iris, so know that this is a general reading. It could be... A love situation it could be a job situation it could be whatever the angel chooses to let you know in this reading okay someone might need closure someone probably need to make a decision someone probably have a little relationship issue or go on somewhere the angels are going to let you know okay so again if it does not resonate please don't get in your feelings about it please don't get hurt about it you know what I'm saying? Negativity. No negativity here because when you be negative, negativity follows and flows in your circle. All right. So be positive and positivity will flow. Oh, angels are bringing that one out. It, positive, positivity will flow in your circle at all times. All right. So angels, let me have um, to, ooh, angels are working here. The angels are saying here, it's okay to ask for and accept support from others. Okay. So someone has been having a little, a difficult time right now, and they really don't want to share what they're going through with anyone. But the angels are saying, don't just keep it locked in because that locked in is going to have you emotionally drained. And it's going to have you, um, you're going to have a breakdown, period. You're going to have a breakdown if you don't start opening up and sharing what you're going through, the feelings that you've been feeling. It's okay to open up. And ask for support. Just accept. If someone asks you if they you need help with something, just say yes. Don't be afraid to just accept the help, okay? It is going to help you to get through this difficult time that you're facing. The angel is saying it's time to try something new. Love will come in time to you. It's time to try something new. The angel is saying here, Aries, it's time to try something new. Love will come in time to you. So don't force it, all right? Don't force it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Love is not something that is you could force. It's something that is given freely. So you cannot force it because you're just going to be unhappy, all right? It's going to be having you feel drained and, and, and feeling like you're sick. And you're not sick. You just love sick. And wanting someone to love you when that someone is not ready to love. So just, just let it go. The angel is saying... Don't don't get down on it. Don't get down. Love is going to find you in time, okay? All right, angels, let me have two more cards here, please. Angels are saying here. Choices, fall promise, okay? And disappointment has hit you really hard. But honey, you'll stand for no more deception, all right? Someone has broken. Your heart is really broken. Your heart has been broken, okay? deception someone made some choices here that really hurt you really really bad and put you in a dark place a dark place where you don't want to even talk to anybody you don't want to share what you're feeling with anyone 
That's why the angels are saying it's okay to open up and talk to people and accept someone to come in your life and help you to heal those wounds. Someone hurt you really, really bad. Deception. Someone just hurt you, just break you, just, just tore you down. And, and, and it really put you in a dark place because you really love this person. You gave this person a lot of you. You invested a lot of yourself in this, re in this relationship. And this person just like walked over you and gave you a whole lot of false promises. Making you think that you was going to be with them forever. When they really wasn't because the angels are saying here, your person said, keep an open mind. Their expectations is different from yours, okay? The, the angel is saying clearly, their expectation is different from what you wanted. You wanted the house and the picket fence and the forever and, and everything to make you happy. But they wasn't seeing what you were seeing. They was thinking about something totally different. False promises. They promised you they was give you that they, they was going to give you that house with the picket fence. But honey... It was all false promises, okay? False promises. False promises. They basically lied in your face. Lied in your face, okay? They didn't mean a word that they said. The angels are speaking here on your behalf, honey. All right? So don't worry about it. I got you. We're going to fix this little problem here. We're going to give you some closure here. All right? Angels are working for you. Angels, come through. Come through, angels. Come through. Come through, angels. All right. Angels are working on your behalf. All right. You're going to have some closure after today. Closure. The angels came through. The angels said, you've always tried to put family first. Now, now, that you should put yourself in first place. Start taking care of yourself is what the angels are saying here. You always put family first and everybody first in front of you. Now it's time to reverse and start dealing with yourself. Start pampering yourself, loving yourself, taking time with yourself, doing your you stuff, you. And start focusing on yourself. You've done enough. You have done enough trying to make other people happy. Now it's time to pick up the pieces and do you for once in your life, all right? Your person, though, on the other hand, is saying they're really sorry for the things that were said. They wish they could take some of those words back, all right? They say, I'm sorry. There was words that were said, and they're saying that they're sorry for the words that came out of their mouth. It should not have been said, and they are very apologetic about that. But see, sometimes words, words were hurt. Words hurt more than when someone hits you with a stone or someone stab you. Words can be devastating. And when those words come out of your mouth, you cannot take those words back. No matter, no matter all you try, them words ain't going nowhere. You are going to always remember them words. Even if you forgive the person for what had happened, what had happened then, even when you return back to the relationship, you're always going to remember what was said. You will never, ever forget those words. And that person said something to you that hit you like a ton of bricks, okay? And those words hurt to the point where you don't want to go to anybody to ask them, to, to, to share with them what you're really feeling. Maybe some people don't even know exactly what your person said to you. That's how hurtful it was. You kept a lot of things to yourself. A lot of things that was going on between you and your person, you never really opened up and shared with anyone because you felt so embarrassed. Because you, you felt really disappointed. Very disappointed with this what your person did to you. Soon, all you have ever wanted will be given to you. Be patient. The angel just saying, through all the tears and disappointment that you have faced in your life, all right, and the false promises that was given to you that never came to reality, it's okay. It's all right. Because soon all you have ever wanted will be given to you. Just be patient. Just be patient about it. It is going to come your way. Happiness is going to be coming your way, all right? A new opportunity is coming. 
a new opportunity is coming. It's coming in. Be ready to accept the best offer. Something is coming your way. See, that you fell down. You had fallen. And now it's time for you to get up and start living again. Because big things are going to come your way. Sometimes, sometimes people are moved out of your life so you could have the blessing that is due to you. Sometimes you have some people that is just stagnant water. And they just sit there and they just grind and, and get smellier and eviler every day. And sometimes those people have to get out of your circle. In order for their blessing to flow all over you, you have to get rid of some of those people. Those people don't mean you no good. You're not going, you don't, you're not going to manifest anything good in your life when you have these kind of a stagnant people in your life. So it's okay. Good things are coming your way, okay? You're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. And just let me have another card, please. For Aries, one more card, piece of Aries, one more card, piece of Aries, and thank you, thank you, angels. I appreciate you. The angels are saying, No room to be bored, bitter, angry. You have knowledge to accept and separation and sadness or sadness. There you go. There's no more room for that. You have no more rooms to stress yourself about the separation between you and your person. No more rooms for sadness, okay are feeling bitter. There's no more room for that. Or feeling bored about what you've been through. Now it's, now it's room for you to go out there and get what is deserving of you, which is to be a better self, which is to achieve your dreams and your goals and your mission. You're here for a purpose and those visions are going to come to light. You'll be okay. Let that zero go ahead and do whatever they wanted to do and go disappoint somebody else. But you, you're on a mission. All things are going to come your way, okay? So I hope this reading helped. I hope it kind of gives you some kind of a closure. Always remember to pray first because prayer beats everything. And always seek and you will find.